Robin Higgins and this is Quick and Easy Chemistry Experiments for 10th Graders. Alright, so one of my favorite experiments is to combine Diet Coke and Mentos. All you need is a 2 liter and a roll of Mentos. And what you do is you just open the Coke and you dump all the Mentos in at once. Usually you have to build some kind of little ramp for them to fall down. And what happens is that the Mentos cause the Diet Coke to completely release all of its carbon dioxide. So remember that soda has dissolved gas in it, that's why it's fizzy. And when we release the pressure off the can or the bottle, it slowly comes out. But if you put the Mentos in there, it all comes out at once and it causes a big eruption. It's a really fun and easy um, and good to explain the rules of solubility in gases experiment for 10th graders. Uh, a next thing I would do is I really like building potato cannons. All right, so building a potato cannon uh, isn't that quick or easy. I mean, there are lots of internet tutorials and it only takes about an hour, but you have to collect all the parts from a hardware store, but I definitely think it's worth it. Uh, kids in high school, it's hard to get them interested in science sometimes, and this experiment definitely does it because if you build a potato cannon, it can actually launch potatoes the length of a football field, and uh, you can really get in some lessons about how to build uh, something with an electrical current and how combustion works because you can spray hairspray down into the chamber of the cannon and then light it on fire and it shoots the potato uh, out. And I just think it's a really good science experiment to do with high schoolers. Uh, it keeps their interest. Um, and the third and last experiment is combining baking soda with vinegar. And so this experiment is fine if you're uh, just really strapped for time, you don't have anything but household ingredients, but I've found that by the time people get to high school, they're not super impressed with this experiment and that they might be bored with it. Um, and to prove my point, in case you don't believe me, I'm actually going to bring our resident 10th grader, so please welcome Josh. And so we're gonna do this experiment and see if he's impressed by it. All right, so we have our baking soda, and now we're going to combine our vinegar. Were you impressed, Josh? Just doesn't cut it in today's chemistry demo world. All right, I'm Robin Higgins, and this has been Quick and Easy Chemistry Experiments for 10th Graders. Mm -hmm.